Hi guys, long time no see. Um, it's been such a long time since I've done like a review or a beauty tutorial or just anything in general and it's kind of nice to be on YouTube talking to an empty room and talking to a camera and reminding myself how much of a loser I am. Well, today I'm going to do a compare and contrast on two flat irons, the TI Chrome iron, the ones that I've been using for the past maybe three or four months, and then this one, the Sultra Deco Professional Iron. I do want to let you guys know that, yes, I do switch in and out irons all the time, and you'll see that in my videos, and I have like maybe four or five of them laying around and I don't want to like have you guys thinking that oh well she's buying all this stuff or whatever I do get these irons for free and I am asked to review them or to use them in some of my videos but I also want to let you guys know that I refuse refuse to use a product that I do not like and I refuse to lie to you guys or tell you guys that I like something when I don't but I know how hard it is to make money and to save up and I'm not gonna tell you oh this is awesome it's the best stuff ever blah 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 go get it and have you get it and then all of a sudden you know find out that it's not the best thing ever that's just not fair to you guys and it's definitely not on like the cool scale okay so yeah let's get on with the whole compare and contrasting on these two irons first of all this iron is a little bit more expensive than this one it's about fifteen dollars more expensive this is seventy nine ninety five and this one is ninety nine dollars okay so both irons does come with a little swivel cord which is a huge seller for me if it does not come with a swivel cord I will not even look at the iron I will not review the iron I would not buy the iron it has to have a swivel cord first of all I am very clumsy so I cannot have things like wrapping around my neck and another thing is my hair is extremely long so I don't want cord to be wrapping around my hair while it's wrapping around my neck it's just like extremely dangerous and I cannot be living in a danger zone since my sewing room is already like a war zone so I don't need a second war zone in my apartment why am I waving this like this like I'm so angry at you guys I don't know what's going on well it looks like I'm holding up two peace signs oh, okay okay so for the heat setting on both of the irons this one goes all the way up to 450 it's adjustable you can change it however you like this one I'm a little bit confused about I don't know why there is an adjustable heat setting but it does go up to 370 now this iron claims to have a very um, uniform heat that goes around the plate and sometimes when you buy a flat iron you would get heat that kind of just congregate in this little area right here right in the middle of the plate so you know heat isn't really being distributed through all of your hair um, I do kind of feel like it does happen with this iron where it would heat from maybe here all the way up and it's a little bit cooler on this little end. Um, I don't think it's a big deal to some people. Um, to me personally, it's not a big deal. But I do feel like this one kind of irons my hair a lot better just because of that. Um, although this is only 370 it's okay because, you know, you should only flat iron your hair at around like maybe 350 365 um, Any more than that, your hair might be fried. I do set this one on 450 only because I like to flat iron my hair really quick and just go. It's a really bad habit, but I do it. Both of the irons are one inch plate irons. Um, this one, however, even though it is one inch plate, it is longer in length than this iron is. I don't know if you can see that. You see? You see how the TI iron is about maybe one inch longer? Um, it shouldn't make a difference. They, are, they will flat iron your hair just fine. This one, though, I feel like it's easier for me to curl my hair because of that extra inch. This one will take smaller sections for me to curl my hair. Um, when it comes to aesthetics, you know, design is very important to a girl. I know a lot of you guys want a design that kind of reflects your personality. To me, I personally feel like aesthetics kind of make the product cost a lot more than it should. And I think that's probably the reason why there is like a $15 difference on this iron versus this one. Because this one has this really cool like foilage print um, and it kind of makes me feel like a tattoo artist for some reason this one makes me feel like I am in Futurama but they're both really cool and I think they both reflect my personality pretty well I am a tattoo artist in Futurama now both irons do come with the heat mat the TI iron comes with this kind of heat mat that zips up and it lays flat but when you zip it together it could also become a carrying case which is really nifty for me because when I was traveling back in December um, I just kind of threw in my comb and a little bit of thing of like gel and a little bit of thing of heat protected and I just went this one though comes with like a, a felt mat 
And I mean, it's pretty simple, but I wish it does come with a carrying case since, you know, it, it is such an expensive iron. You kind of want that carrying case, but I, I shouldn't be complaining. As far as the physics of the iron, um, I would have to say this one is a little bit stiffer to clamp down. This one is a lot smoother when it comes to clamping down. I don't know if that is a huge issue for you guys. I don't think it's a huge issue for me. Um, the problem is, since I'm so used to using this one, it's a little bit harder for me to use this one. But after a while, you kind of just adjust yourself to it. There's one thing that I also look at when buying an iron, and it's the um, electrical nubs. Okay, so this one is for the TI Chrome, and you know, it's pretty universal. You could plug it in anywhere, and it's small. This one is for the Sultra, and I don't know why it's so big and it's actually kind of annoying because on my outlet I only have two things for the plug and I usually just like to plug a flat iron and a blow dryer and my blow dryer already has this so I can't have my blow dryer and this in the same outlet at the same time because it doesn't fit. So. I'm just wondering why they did this. Maybe it's because the Sultra iron kind of likes to distribute heat so equally that it needs a little bit more electricity, so it needs this to stabilize it. I honestly don't know. I'm not an electrical engineer, but someone explained this to me. I don't know why there is such a huge nub coming out of my wall. I'm first going to demonstrate on the TI Chrome flat iron. And I've been using this for maybe over than three months, and I really like it besides the fact that it's chrome and it's like extra pretty. But I think it does a pretty good job with straightening my hair. Now this is what my hair looks like every single morning. I wash it at night and I kind of just sleep in it. Amazingly, my bangs for some odd reason likes to stay put now. So I'm really loving my straight bangs. I normally don't like them very much because I have a cowlick problem sometimes. But lately my bangs have been very good. And I think it's probably because my hair has been a little bit more healthy. And I've been switching conditioner more frequently. So anyways. So, what I would do in the morning is I would just split my hair like this. And as you can see, it's just kind of doing all these weird things. And, I mean, the bottoms are pretty good. I normally just leave my heat setting at 450, only because I'm very comfortable with this heat setting. Um, I don't mind it too much, and I have really coarse hair, so I really don't care. Um, whatever damage I do during the day. Oh, by the way, I already have, like, heat protection in here, so if you're wondering... Uh, whatever I do during the day that damages my hair, I usually care for it at night. There is this annoying dog barking outside of my window. So, so basically that's what I do. Like I don't even separate my hair or anything. I just go through and I like, iron out like the really gnarly looking ones. And um, keep in mind I have really really thick hair. So if this iron could do it, then it's obviously amazing so just like that um, so my hair is like straight I'm gonna fix a little bit up here I really do need a root touch up but eh, I don't know I don't know if I want to have to upkeep it all the time I might just go it all out or like dye it completely black eh, I don't know okay so that's basically what I do in the morning just like that straighten my hair and I go to school. This one, as I turn it on, it actually heat up really, really quickly um, in comparison to the TI Chrome. I don't know, it only took maybe like 10 seconds and it's like blazing hot. I have a tendency to touch the plate of the hot irons while it's heating up and so I thought, okay, well how about I go and I touch this and I, and I think I severely burned myself. But this one heats up really, really quick. Um, I'm very impressed about how fast it heats up. But anyways, as you can see, this one is straightened by the TI Chrome. And this one, we're going to see if we could straighten it as fast. Now, this is kind of weird to me because I'm so used to straightening my hair with the other one. But um, I feel like this one really grips onto my hair um, versus the TI Chrome. It kind of like is a little bit looser so it doesn't grip as well. But this really like grips onto my hair. And it's actually really, really hot. I can feel like how hot my hair strands are. Ugh, I need a brush. Yeah. Way to do a hair demonstration without a brush. Yay! Yay! Yay!
I'm actually straightening my hair through the viewfinder on my camera. There isn't a mirror on this other side of the camera or anything. I think I smell like plastic. So my hair is nicely flat ironed out with this thing here. I think it took like at most three minutes because I'm very lazy when it comes to straightening my hair in the morning. And as you guys can see, they're both nicely straightened out. As you can see that with the TI Chrome, my hair is kind of frizzy, like these little pieces right here. And I've always had trouble with these right here. It's always, I don't know, for the life of me, have always been frizzy. And I could put product in it and it's still going to be frizzy and it's going to curl in and... It just doesn't look nice. But as you can see with the Sultra flat iron, my hair is a little bit shinier. And it's not frizzy on the little ends right here. It's not as shiny on this side. It feels like it is a lot shinier on this side. And it does feel like my hair is softer on this side too. It must, it must be a magic iron or something. I could tell the difference and to me it's a big deal. But if it's not a big deal to you and you just want a flat iron, then you know, you can have a flat iron. But I feel like this flat iron really makes my hair look shiny and really pretty. Yay! Uh, I just went ahead and just flattened my whole hair with the sultra because it just makes my hair look so shiny and I like it so much. So even though it has a really weird electrical nub, and even though it doesn't come with the cool traveling case, I do enjoy the iron because it does make my hair look really, really shiny. Um, I guess at the end of the day, I could just go get an extra outlet or something and maybe I could make my own carrying case. I don't even know why I'm complaining about something so minute, but... And I'm kind of picky sometimes. But yeah, I really like how shiny my hair looks afterwards. I'll see you guys later. Rock on, hair junkies.